Yo, what's up guys? It's Pi Egos here, the Crypto Pie, and today's Friday, so it's another crypto market roundup, guys, where I go over all the altcoins and over Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? What they do compared to USD. So let's first start with Bitcoin. So what we see, we basically had a one, two, three, four, five. That's how I count it right now. So what I do then is I, I take my Fibonacci from the bottom to the top, right? And what I'm looking for to buy is around the 0.5 to 618 area. As crazy as it looks, because you're under the cloud then. Um, it just it just makes sense to me to buy there right because that's also where we broke out and um, so I, I have my buys leathered in right right here like this is where, where the majority is okay so th there's no secret about that um, then let's go on ethereum so ethereum guys um, th there's something going on right so a lot of people are not talking about it but bitmax has added uh, perpetual swaps for ethereum so that could be uh, pretty good, could also be a disaster. Um, it, it depends, right, which way. Basically what people can do now is, is short and long the future futures of Ethereum um, at a max of 50x. So um, it can definitely propel the price, but it can also drive it further down, right? So um, it's kind of like a double-edged sword, right? But if we look at Ethereum here, guys, it's under the Ichimoku Cloud, under both all EMAs, but it's pretty much at a support, right? And yeah. Um, so it's not a bad idea to just scale in if you wanted to. Around the $400 uh, mark here, right? Obviously not where it is right now. Uh, you need to be patient. It'll most likely come back down again. And then uh, if it drops even further, you scale in even more, right? Um, that's how I would play it right now, guys, with a lot of coins, right? Scaling. Because we don't know the exact bottom. <coughs> But a lot of these uh, cryptocurrencies, these altcoins, they uh, pretty much did a whole market cycle. So they, they're they back at like a, a 80 to almost 90% retracement, right? So 886 is a huge number, guys. Um, so let's go over ADA here. Uh, same thing here, guys. If you want to accumulate ADA, that's fine. Um, just do it slowly because if you do fall here, you can fall all the way down here, right? And then just accumulate some more. So uh, pick like a few cryptocurrencies, a few coins that you want to accumulate and just go, go, you know, go with that. Um, don't try to accumulate them all because then you cannot get a nice average position, right? Um, right now, it's just really time for accumulation. If you, Some of these R size are very low. Ada is not really one of them, but there, there, there are some of them that are super, super low. So ADX, um, it's uh, currently under every support. I would not touch this one. There's m m many different ones that are good, right? So um, ION, same thing. I wouldn't touch it here at all. Um, you know, it's, I just don't know enough about the project to, to really tell me like, yeah, I should buy this, right? Because uh, right now, guys, you need to know about the projects you're investing. It's more of an... Well, it's still a trade, but it's also kind of like an investment, right? Because we are at bottoms. Uh, I don't want to call a bottom, right? But we are very close to bottoms, at least. Because the retracement, like I said, is already like about 80 to 90%. So Ambrosis, um, not one I'm looking at. Appcoin, uh, it it's just keeps going down. Uh, I wouldn't want to pick this up, to be honest. Bat. Well, if you're if you're a fan of bat, it's not a bad time to accumulate a little bit and then just put another order, for example, over here and another one over here, you know, and just ladder in slowly. Um, Bitcoin Cash. Well, you know my 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 opinion on Bitcoin Cash. It's pretty crap, but uh, if it does make a rally, I'm I'm willing to trade it. Just right now, it's still in the all EMAs. It's not showing anything bullish here, right? Um, if it comes back to a double bottom, you could perhaps just accumulate a little bit and hope you get another run, right? Bitcoin Cash USD, we don't need to go over that. Blue Zell, um, new lows. I would not want to get into this unless I knew about the project. So Binance, guys. So Binance is always interesting, right? Binance is uh, is one that's, that's still bullish. Um, whether you... You think, you, you, I mean, you cannot disagree. This is still looking bullish, right? So, and I think this will stay bullish for, for a long time 
because everyone uses Binance, guys. So, right? So keep that in mind. Then we have BQX. Um, it's getting to, to low lows, right? I mean, uh, I would want to pick it up down here if if I wanted to pick some up. But uh, I'm not I'm not too diversified, guys. I don't have like you know I don't have like 20 coins or something like that sitting in my my portfolio. It's more like five or six good coins. That's what you need, okay? Uh, Bitcoin one, so it's like the futures, um, the longs are just getting a little bit uh, smacked here, right? The shorts, the well, it's it's not really bad. The shorts, not the longs either. They're kind of like it. it w we kind of found a uh, a price that that. That's fine for now, right? On Bitcoin. Bitcoin Gold. Um, we are currently at like these these double bottoms here. Um, so if you want to accumulate here a little little bit, that's fine. I don't see the reason to. Because honestly, Bitcoin Gold is just another fork from Bitcoin, right? Bit shares. Um, if you want to, you can accumulate this. Uh, I mean, you could buy a little bit here and then wait for it to drop down here. If it does. You buy some more, but that's up to you. I'm not in bit shares, but I know some people are, and that's fine, right? We all have the coins that we believe in the most. Um, and uh, right now, I don't think any of these coins that I've shown you so far will not go up in if you let's say take a look at six months from now, right? Um, like I said, guys, 80 to 90 percent retracement. If you see, if you just go on coin market cap and you see a coin. That's down 20 to th to in between 20 and 30 percent in a week. Well, and you then you go look at the charts and you see RSI being like super oversold, like at 19 or something on higher time frame. So I mean the six 12 hour daily. Um, that it, that just tells you it's it's a pretty safe buy, and you know safe is always between quotes, of course, but um, you can scale in, okay? Um, and it's it's not a bad thing to do at all. There's always risk if you want reward, guys. Okay, you gotta know that. Um, Dash uh, is just on a massive downtrend, but like I said, guys, if you want to accumulate some Dash here, that's fine. Right, Dash runs uh, nearly every year as well. So yesterday, uh, yesterday, uh, last year I had a great run, right, and the year before that as well. So um, it's it's not bad. Dent it just keeps falling. I wouldn't want to touch this. Elf uh, is new, new low, so I wouldn't want to touch this. Or actually, well, hold on, the my chart didn't load. Uh, you, you can accumulate here a little bit if you wanted to. I'm, I don't know enough about the project to be accumulating. EOS is not scary at all to accumulate. Um, if you want, you can just accumulate a little bit because EOS is uh, is one of the top coins, right? So, ETC. Well, you know, I'm I'm in this pump. But only with a little bit. I accumulate a little bit at these uh, these prices here, because well, frankly, we had this pump before, right? Because of the the whole listing thing, and now it might get listed. So who knows? It might pump all the way back up here and then fall again. Um, I wouldn't chase this if you're not in yet. Just leave it um, or buy a retracement, right? Do not just buy it right now. Um, I mean, it's your own own risk, but. Your risk reward isn't too great. Ethereum, um, Ethereum to Bitcoin. We see like that it's trying to, you know, become stronger, and that that's a good thing to see. Uh, it's currently above 21 EMA. It needs to get above all the other EMAs, though. Um, so, but the Ethereum is another one you can always accumulate, guys. It's a top coin. It's the number two. Okay, Ethereum USD, the same thing. Obviously, we already went over that. GTO, um, Gifto, I don't know enough about this, but it does to me just sound a little bit uh, iffy. Even though we are at bottoms here, so if you are a big believer on the, of the project, you can be accumulating here. Um, GVT, well, we only fall and fall and fall. I really want to wait until it's down here. I, I don't want to risk accumulating it here right now, to be honest. Uh, hot. A hydro product? No, not hydro. It's 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 holo token or something like that. 
Uh, I'm not, not interested anyways, it, it looks like a barcode chart. Icon, um, I am interested in this and uh, I am accumulating because this is obviously, this is a perfect example of a full market cycle being done basically in A, B and then a C. We don't know exactly when the C will hit its bottom, but we know it's, it's, it's pretty close, right? IOTA, um, we are at like bottoms here again, once again, it's actually a little bit below it, but we did find some support here. So if you want to accumulate some IOTA, that's fine. I would just accumulate at these bottom zones here and not up here. And then obviously if it drops even further, you need to have the capital to keep accumulating. Okay, so you get a nice average. And if you do not have that capital, which is, I understand, then if you accumulate, let's say you're all in here and you don't have anything else, well then you do need to have some kind of stop here because if you do go lower, it will most likely fall a lot lower, right? So, yeah, you, you need to keep that in mind, those things. IOTX. Um, it, it's currently at like bottoms and it's very squeezy squeezy here but I don't know enough about the project to really be bullish on it um, you could accumulate it though and uh, yeah and just see what where it takes you right um, maybe you know more about it than me self key same thing as all the others you can accumulate it here it's it's I mean we're pretty much at the bottom where it all started on Binance, right? Um, and who kn who would have thought that, right? I mean, I, I knew it because when I saw this, guys, I mean, let's be honest, that's just over exuberance and uh, it needs to come down and that's what, exactly what it did. So this one had a very quick market run, like a one, two, three, four, five, and then an A, B, C. And well, I mean, now the C needs to basically just consolidate down and then eventually you will probably get another run. I, we just don't know when, right? It's always, you never know when, guys, in trading, okay? Uh, time analysis is, is, is not something that can easily be done. It's just no good tools for it. Uh, Kyber Network, um, yeah. If you're bullish on this, uh, which I can imagine some of you are, because it has something to do with, like, some exchanges and, and this stuff, right? I mean, uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but I know it falls in the category of exchanges, um, decentralized exchanges probably, um, but I would wait until it hits these, these bottoms and then accumulate, right? Link, I don't know anything about this either, guys, see so many projects I just have no clue about, um, but I do see a chart, right? And then it tells me that if you want to accumulate, you can do it down here or down here. So guys, today the, the crypto market roundup is a little different, right? Because we we are literally looking at accumulating coins um, because of the the full market cycles are pretty much done. Um, a lot of them, at least. A, B, C. I can see something like that on here as well, um, but we don't know if C is done and it could keep falling. Um, I would not really want to accumulate this one. Lisk. I'm not too bullish on Lisk anymore because it's it's just a, I think it's just JavaScript and there's there's many other smart contract platforms that have not only JavaScript but also C Sharp, C++, etc. Nowadays, right? So um, there's just multiple options and uh, that just tells me Lisk is not really necessary anymore, right? Litecoin. It's another very safe one. You can accumulate it here, and if it falls lower, you need to, you need to accumulate more. If you cannot, once again, then you need to have some kind of stop. Um, so, guys, why do I say you need to stop, right? And and other times I don't. Well, that depends on if you have more money, because then you can just average your position into the coin. Um, a lot of people are against averaging down, but if you look at something like Litecoin or Ethereum or Neo or something like that. Um, you know, we don't know 100% sure there will be a bounce, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like 98% sure, okay? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Litecoin USD, um, you know, it's, uh, you can accumulate it at these bottoms, like I said. 
mana mana to bitcoin well you just have these big spikes so i wouldn't really touch this chart unless it gets to the low lows i mean if it gets down here i'm i'm, I'm very interested right because of uh, eventual pumps so uh yeah that is uh that's that that's that's that pretty much right then we have mft um well this one just keeps falling and it's way too new to have done the market cycle so i just let it drop mth and when i say let it drop you know just don't buy it um monitha yeah um it is kind of at this support again so if you're a fan of this this project then you can be accumulating i don't know much about it I'm not getting any MTL well I wouldn't get this I would not even look at it and uh, not really uh, not really bullish on it uh, yeah so just leave it be nano same thing I'm not bullish on it uh, don't buy it uh, I mean it depends <sighs> some people are bullish on it right but you just need to look into what nano is guys and you'll think the same as me right and then you don't want to get it anymore. So Nef coin, uh, let it let it fall, let it let it come down further. It's a very old coin, though, guys. Uh, I remember trading this on Poloniex in 2016. So it's one of the old ones, right? It'll most likely go back up. Uh, so if you want to accumulate, that's fine. I uh, I don't think it's very scary to accumulate this one. And cash, uh, well, new lows, very new coin. I would wait for market cycle to, to really show you kind of like an uptrend, because the, these coins I cannot, I'm not 98% sure of right of a bounce. Nablio, um, well, we are at the bottoms again. So if you want to take a chance and a or small gamble. You can uh, you can accumulate here and hope it goes back up, but uh, it, it's not something I would I'm super bullish on, so I'm not getting it. Neo, on the other hand, guys, I'm super bullish. You guys know it's the Chinese Ethereum. Um, Neo 3.0 is coming, more transactions. Uh, you know, it's just a overall better ecosystem then. So. Yeah, I'm accumulating NEO myself. So, uh, why wouldn't I tell you guys to do it, right? Uh, it, it's obviously up to you. I was, nothing of this is financial advice, obviously, right? But uh, it's just what I do, guys. And, I mean, if you want, you can buy some here. If it drops even further below, that's just a bigger bargain. That's how I see it. I don't see NEO going anywhere, guys. Right? Except for uh, up in the, if you look at the longer term. Uh, Neo to dollar, twenty-eight dollars. Well, basically, we're back at like these levels, guys. Look how big support is here, right? So, um, it, it's something you can definitely uh, pick up and accumulate, and uh, you know, we will most likely make a big run uh, anytime soon. So, what I mean with anytime soon, it can be like three months, six months, but down the road, guys. Right? So you're more looking at investments in this this episode of the crypto market roundup then then quick trades because of the fact that we are so low and uh, i mean they they're obvious bargains right and uh, i i've seen how fast things can go back up guys so when we are when we do get in some bullish uh, territory again on the altcoins Right now, Bitcoin's at like nearly 50% dominance. I think it will actually reach 50% or very close to it before it will go back down and let the alts have a run, right? So OMG, sorry about that. OMG, it's uh, close to all lows as well. I, w I would be willing to accumulate it down here. And uh, yeah, then play it for the swing. But it's not one of my main coins that I that I play. Okay, ontology is basically coming all the way back down. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it would go all the way back down. So basically, all the way down here. 
uh, so I wouldn't touch, touch this just yet but in this area I'm very interested Pivax um, well it's another really old coin guys uh, I remember seeing it on Bittrex like a year ago or two years nearly uh, so it's uh, you know but it's 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 just a master no coin it's not nothing much really about it I wouldn't this is not one of the coins I'm, I'm really accumulating of course when it when any of these go bullish guys then I will trade them but we are basically just talking about uh, the longer term right so I need to see a a future in the just the project alone and that's not what I see in Pivax it will most likely have a run though uh, PoE if all the others will have a run then these uh, more I wouldn't say shitty ones but more um, you know, I mean less less used coins right they will also have a run let's see PoE here guys um, I don't know much about this project but I would let it come all the way down to the lows before I would be interested. It's too new and it probably goes back down there. Uh, Power Ledger. So this was a project people were very bullish on at some point. Look at that. And then we fell. So right now it's it's at, at a support if you're a really big fan of the project. It's not a bad accumulation spot. But keep in mind that it can drop lower and that you need to pick up some more. Or of course have a stop. Because, well, if it stops you out here, it's most likely going to fall, right? So, um, just be be careful of that. QSP Quant Stamp. Um, we're getting to these lows. It's, uh, it's, it's about quantum computing in blockchain. It's, it's pretty interesting, but it's not one that I am accumulating either. However, it's, uh, it's close to uh, the zone where you can accumulate, right? So, yeah, if if if, if you want to pick some up, then, then be my guest. But like I say, guys, pick like three to six coins, look at them and accumulate them slowly. Uh, of course, look at coins that have dropped a significant amount. Let's say they are 90% down from their highs. Well, that is, uh, you know, your downside is small and your upside is huge, right? So um, that that is something great to see if you want to accumulate. Qtum uh, is currently at these lows here. Uh, I kind of want to see it a little bit lower and then I might pick some up. Qtum is a project I am decently bullish on. Um, so yeah, I want, it, I want to see it come down here. RLC, well new lows, too new of a project. I wouldn't, wouldn't touch this. Salt, same thing here, honestly. Uh, Storm, well it's a new low so I wouldn't touch this Stratus um, another really old coin um, guys well not really old right but older than, than a lot of them nowadays so uh, yeah it might want to go down all the way to where the wick is so I would wait I would wait this is in a downtrend um, and it's not a cryptocurrency I'm that bullish on that I just want to accumulate right substratum uh, well, we're getting down to these lows, and that means that, you know, it's the. I think this is like the decentralized internet or something that they want to be. And uh, well, if it gets down here, it might be awesome to pick some up, right? But like I said, it's not in my projects that I'm picking up. But it's not a bad project though. Tron, not one I'm picking up either. However, there they do have a lot of fanboys, so maybe I should pick some up just for that reason. Uh, I mean, I know I'm not a huge fan of just the project uh, itself. So, but it, it is showing some bullish out, uh, outside the verges, and it could go any time as well. But I kind of want to see it come down here, right, before I pick any up. So, because. Uh, I'm not that confident on this project as I am on some others. V chain, well, this one just had a big dump, um, so yeah, it could definitely keep dumping and go all the way down to the lows. 
So yeah, but don't touch this, just uh, stay away and uh, let it drop. Wabi, well, I would, wait, is this like, let's see, oh this is uh, making new lows, okay yeah, stay stay out of Wabi guys, do not try to buy Wabi, um, unless you're a big fan of the project or something or you know more about it than me but uh, you probably do know more about it but I wouldn't wanna this is not one of my projects even though it could have a immense bounce it's just not one I wanna I wanna really play I, I look at the bounce guys it can potentially have it's immense but it's it's risky okay I would want to see an uptrend on this this is just one that I would trade not not accumulate okay uh, one chain this is one I would accumulate however I I don't want to see it fall this sharp right I kind of wanna wanna see it consolidate a little bit and then make a tiny uptrend then I want to get uh, accumulate some okay this is because it's not one I'm believing in that much, but I do want to have some skin in the game on, on one chain. Waves, uh, another old one. Uh, I, I'd say wait for it to really get down to the, the bottom of this wick here. Walton chain. Well, we're at these lows here, guys. So if you are a big believer in, in Walton chain, the project itself, uh, you can accumulate in these areas, right? And what you notice that today I'm not looking at any fibs or anything because I know things are just just by looking at it right it's basically retraced like 88 to 90 percent so um, if you see that and you want to accumulate a project then uh, look into what the project actually is and see if you want to want to be involved in that because a lot of them are cheap priced right now so that's the time to look at some fundamentals right now not just at the technicals um, I'm a huge technical guy, you guys know that, but you do need to look at the fundamentals when they are this low because you might just want to hold it for a big, big swing, right? And then if you want to be in a big, big swing, I'm a big proponent of knowing at least what you're holding, okay? Um, Bitcoin Euro, Bitcoin USD, Bitcoin USD, Stella Lumens, um, a, a big rival of Ripple, right? Uh, we've already seen that and uh, I mean if it gets back down here I'll probably accumulate some uh, this is one that I am looking at uh, getting so yeah if it, if it goes way back down I'll probably pick some more up I have some but not a whole lot okay so yeah um, but that's that this is all very personal guys I'm telling you what I'm doing in my journey right um, so this is uh, and of course I'm telling you based on on levels that make sense on the chart because that is the that's the the thing you need to be able to, to see is even if you don't have fibs on you still see these uh, these support levels right so you still want to accumulate them in in the right right areas you don't want to for example buy right now I mean it's it's uh, just not the best thing to do Monero uh, it's, you know it's a privacy coin with the the six uh, combination privacy coin that's what I always call it because it goes I don't know how it is nowadays but it used to be like it go, when you send something it goes to six people before it arrives at the actual target right so uh, let's say you send one Bitcoin and it will get split up and it gets sent around six times before it ends up at the, the person so I don't know how it is nowadays though guys they might have a completely new way of doing things um, but that's how it used to be ripple uh, one two three four so it's at the, this four here however ripple likes to, to retrace just a, the, 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 that little bit more so we are putting a fib out here to, to just look uh, it's not exact but um, I kind of do want to see it at around that 886 level before I even think about picking some up Ripple USD is, is just uh, going sideways, so maybe I do need to pick some up, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe I do need to pick some up. Okay, but 
the the Bitcoin chart tells me it can still go lower, right? But it's not a bad thing though to pick some up, guys. I mean, so your your upside right here is about six hundred percent if you go to the highs, right? Your downside is obviously you can lose it all. But um, if you just have like a stop at let's say five percent, or uh, well, does that make sense? Yeah, about five five and a half percent makes sense. Um, that you could do something like that or not have a stop at all and just be ready to accumulate some more because we all know that ripple will make another run at some point right it's not one i'm afraid i'm afraid of at all um verge this is one i'm afraid of but i don't want any of this um even though it has a fan club but that's about all it has right going for it so uh, i think this can definitely dump all the way back down to these regions guys so be aware of that if you're in verge and i don't want to be someone who fuds but it's just uh, it's the honest truth all right at a lower high here very nasty um so yeah i can definitely come back down there zach uh well zcash is another privacy coin i mean if it, if it gets down here i might pick some up like i said guys uh, I don't want to be too diversified, but I do want to have one or maybe two privacy coins in uh, the coins that I'm holding. Zilliqa. Um, I'm very bullish on this project, but it needs to fall further. Uh, right? So, it, it simply needs to fall further, guys. It's a too new of a coin. It, will, it might make a whole cycle. So, um, yeah. If I wanted to pick some up, uh, maybe, maybe I start looking he around here. To pick some up, not a whole lot, right? And uh, that, that, that's that's the way you play it, guys. All right? At the moment, you just accumulate. You don't go all in for that that quick, like buy it all, right? Um, you just don't. Okay, so keep that in mind. I mean, if you do that, it well, if if you do that, then you need to have a stop. You, it's just mandatory. ZRX to to you know protect your capital because you cannot average in any more for a for a good price, right? Uh, ZRX, zero X. Well, it needs to. Um, I, I'm not really one that 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 likes to buy this, even though I do think. Oh, well, they they might get on Coinbase as well, right? So maybe maybe um, accumulate some, just in that case. But you want to accumulate at these bottoms, so either here or even better was around here, right? So not not right now. Dock, well, this one's very new. Just let it drop, guys. Let it drop. Let it drop. Okay. And that, that's uh, that's that, guys. All right. So, um, that was the crypto market roundup for today. Also, if you're not in my Telegram yet, join up with the Crypto Pies blog where you can ask me any questions, ask other people questions. It's just a great chat box to be in, right? So, join up with that. Let's see what's going on here. Um, uh, I bought a lot when first announced. Yeah, so I got some ETC as well, but uh, I didn't buy it when it was first announced. Though um, I bought it actually at like the, the lows, guys. Um, yesterday, I, I bought some yesterday. Um, not a lot. I wish I bought more, but um, hey, um, we didn't know it would be this fast that that the Coinbase thing would come right. Maybe maybe you did, did know. Maybe, maybe you didn't. I just had it in the back of my mind that ETC is the first one to list there, so. I just need to have some skin in the game, right, in case it does go up, which it is at the moment. Um, and, and, you know, and you also need to know that you need to take profit because this whole just boom is because of a Coinbase listing. So that's a news event. So it's, it's going to drop again afterwards, right? Um, you just need to be aware of that as well. Um, it would be great if you could do a how to use trading view video series or sh share how slash where to learn it it's best seems so loaded features not just charts but all the other areas of the site uh, that's a great that's a great idea JP I might make a playlist of trading view series um, uh, primarily I just use the charts but I know they also have a screener but there's better screeners out there guys um, there is um, just simple telegram bots that tell you when coins drop in more than 10% for example on Binance um, and things like that right so you do not really need the screener 
Uh, but what's great about TradingView is the, the, the trading ideas, of course, you can look at other people's ideas. Um, so yeah, um, I, may, I might make some TradingView videos just for that. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that, that's pretty much it, right? Of course, we had the, the whole ETC pump, everyone's happy. Bitcoin pumped a little bit today, but then it fell um, because, and I'm, I'm, I missed it, guys. Um, frankly, I, I only slept like like three hours last night. Then I um, had a collaboration with, uh, with One Minute Economics that you guys will see the video of on Monday, um, where I show my face as well. Uh, obviously with a collaboration guys then I that that's the only time I think that it's necessary to, to you know just be in person because the you know you're talking with someone else and then it's good right but um, with chart videos it's 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 not good uh, it's just annoying to I hate it when someone's uh, face on top of a chart so um, that's why I, lo I love watching a, a channel like trade devil right um, where it's just purely technicals and I love those guys um, but anyways guys let's not get too uh, crazy there so yeah trading view um, playlist I'll, I'll look into that also guys join up with the crypto pies feed where I post all my videos post about upcoming ICOs when I find an ICO I'll tell you guys about it to whitelist for it right and um, what I look for is a great team low token metrics so uh, you know a good market cap so we can flip it and of course it needs to be an infrastructure project such as a blockchain or a protocol because they have the biggest returns right so um yeah that's um that's that guys also follow me on twitter which is twitter.com slash pygos where i post my charts um i post all my videos of course i post some gaming related stuff as well but mainly crypto so yeah follow me there also follow me on twitch.tv slash pygos where i go live when sudden things happen on bitcoin and uh yeah we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it live then right so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much that guys so both telegrams will be in the description below and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe hit that post notification button and if you've got any questions at all leave a comment below and i'll see you guys in the next video